Hi, I'm Paul Teasdale with Team Teasdale Realty. I'd like to tell you about a property that we put for sale, and I'd also like to give you some tips on finding and searching for homes in Utah County. So first, let me tell you about the property that we've recently listed. Our team just listed this two-story home in Hunter's Crossing in Provo. It is situated on 0.18 acres. When you first walk in to the left, you walk into the living room, and then set behind it is like a formal dining room area. The kitchen is granite with raised panel, alder cabinets going all the way up to the ceiling and a tile floor. It looks absolutely beautiful, quite a spacious kitchen. The home is 2,032 finished square feet and it's all above grade, which makes it very nice and livable. Uh, four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. There's a half bathroom on the main. Um, also a gas log fireplace with cultured stone right there in the family room. This is the half bath on the main. As you go upstairs, master bedroom, and um, it has a home has a two car garage. It's just a very nice home, shows beautifully, and it's ready to sell. So if you'd like to come see this home today, contact Team Teasdale Realty, and we'll get you in there um, right away. Okay, so I'm going to go through the different ways to search for short sales, bank foreclosures on our website or any type of home that's for sale in the city you're looking for. First go to our website utahcountylistings.com and click the search to homes uh, button right here in the middle of the screen. Um, and what will come up is a list of all the preferences that you're looking for in the city. You want to make sure that you have got highlighted right here by city. That's the way that we're going to do our search for, for right now. And also the property count over here on the right is going to show you how many homes are for sale. Um, and then if we click the city, for example, let's do Saratoga Springs in this um, tutorial really quick. So once we click the start search, it's going to show you a map. But first I want to just point out right here, if you just want short sales, see that number change to 21 or bank foreclosures down to four. I'm in Saratoga Springs right now, but if we do all the homes for sale, you have 232. You can fine tune your preference by bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, whatever kind of stuff you want. So let's go in and start the search. And when we start the search, here comes the map, and let's zoom in a little bit on it. You can zoom it in or zoom it out, and you'll see in this area of Saratoga Springs, you can scroll over the homes, and little pictures will come up and a brief description. So let's go into this one right here, and so you see bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, and information all about the home here over on the left. If you want more information about that particular home, fill out the request more information right here, and this will come directly to me, and I'll answer any questions you have about this particular home. Now, um, it's really important if you like the house to save it. If you save this particular home, which I'll do right now, the home has been added to your saved favorite list, you'll be notified via email if the price changes. So if this house goes under contract or the price changes or something happens, you're going to be notified about it, which is a really cool feature. But more importantly, it's going to be in your saved homes um, button. So it'll be saved here. So if you click this button right here, the saved homes, your home is now saved here. And this is a nice way to keep track of your favorite listings. You can delete them. You can put notes on them. If you want me to look up the listings with you, I can go in and I can look at your list and, and write notes about the status and what's going on with that particular listing. So we can communicate with it. So having the save feature and using it is a really a pretty cool thing. Let me go back a couple of screens and just show you now how that particular listing has changed on the map as you're doing your search. And you can see it's been it's kind of a bright green showing that you have seen that home and it is now on your saved list. So if you just look at one and you don't save it, it will it will also save it to a you know to a uh, a magnifying glass. I'll show you here really quick as we go in and click on this this one right here. Okay, so we're not going to save this one, but if we go back, um, it's going to just have it saved as a different color. Also right here homes you've viewed, um, homes that are nearby is another pretty neat uh, feature. Let's go back now to the map and you see it's changed to a magnifying glass. 
just showing that you've looked at it. It's really important to keep track and keep it kind of organized as you're going through and you're looking at the homes. We have so many homes for sale that it, it gets a little confusing if you get too much going. So having a nice list makes it really simple as you're searching for a home. Now after searching on our website for a little while, this screen will pop up. It'll say, do you want to register? Because we need to be able to send you an email of the new listings the day they come for sale. Also the price reductions on those homes that you've saved. So if you put your real email address, we'll be able to get that information to you. We do not spam or anything like that. If you want to unsubscribe at any time, it's a one-click unsubscribe. But it's a very easy way to help manage all of your listings that you're searching for. And for us to send you the new stuff, it's going to automatically send it to you. It is absolutely wonderful. The system has helped uh, uh, hundreds of buyers that have worked with us find homes. So if you'd like to get started on it, feel free to register. If you see any homes you'd like on our website, give us a call. We'd love to show you any homes you want. Our website is utahcountylistings.com. Have a wonderful day.